Hello, I'm Carol, and welcome. You have found the very first video on my new Other Wise Woman channel. I've started Other Wise Woman as an experiment. As such, there will be room for improvement. My intention is to post channelings and intuitive readings. At the moment, I choose not to allow comments. What I post here is my truth. I'm not trying to convince anyone that it is the truth. But maybe some like-minded people will come along and we'll know that we're not alone. I suppose at this point I should state the standard disclaimer that everything here is for entertainment purposes only. This first video is mostly an audio recording. I channel an entity who refers to herself as sister and claims to be a fifth dimensional Pleiadian being. How long I have been aware of her, I can't say <laughs> forever. <laughs> But I first identified her about 13 years ago when I experienced a past life memory. And um, I recognized that we had an interaction during a lifetime I lived in the late 19th, early 20th century. As we've deepened our relationship in this lifetime, I've come to realize that she is actually the conscious expression of me in the fifth dimension, that we are both facets or aspects of the same entity living in different dimensions. Now, when Sister speaks through me, she will refer to me as Anchor. This is an occupational name that the Pleiadians have given me because my job is to anchor energies from them and other cosmic sources onto, onto the earth. Sister's communication is a little slow, I apologize, but we are a few years rusty, um, out of practice, speaking through my voice to the public. As I said, this is an experiment. This is where we are. This is where we start. So now, we'll go to Sister, speaking on Ascension. Yes, this is Sister, and I greet all friends and family, whether or not you know you are. We are connected through hearts, through minds, through greater existence. Anchor wishes to experiment in this way of recording what I wish to convey to all who are in the same vibration. I do not like that term, but it is close enough. All who are at the same point of perspective this is something anchor and I, for we are one, have discussed because some ideas were not feeling accurate to her. She had doubts which is as it should be for the soul who is progressing and growing and evolving. So the subject to which we 
refer is an idea that has been circulating on in your earth world at this time that is the idea of ascension there are common characteristics around this idea many groups have their own interpretation but for many there seems to be this idea that to ascend means leaving third dimensional reality behind Anchor visualizes it as going up a staircase leaving the third floor because it does not have everything you need or it does not please you in every way or you're bored with it leaving the third floor walking up the staircase to the fourth floor or the fifth or just a higher floor that would represent a dimension and there seems to be an expectation of relief at leaving behind the third dimension but the big problem is the leaving behind concept this is not what happens when one becomes aware becomes conscious in a different dimension the image I have given anchor is of nesting spheres concentric circles if you draw it in 2d and the process of spiritual growth and evolution is more expansion than it is ascension expanding outward from the center and as you do so you do not leave behind the dimension you are currently conscious in because all dimensions in case the lower ones therefore second dimension contains the first dimension third dimension contains the first second and third well yes of course it contains the third because it is the third dimension third dimension contains the first and the second fourth dimension contains first second and third within it I think you understand the imagery so in order to I will use the term reach higher dimensions 
because that seems to relate to the ascension mindset. In the expansion model, you have to completely fill each dimension, completely fill and experience each dimension before you overflow and expand into the higher dimensions. Instead of longing to leave the third dimension behind in order to evolve, in order to progress, you need to fill it completely and that means fully living the human experience. That means fully appreciating all that the third dimension has to offer. Getting the full experience now one point that can illustrate my meaning is this. Many people who are actively seeking spiritual growth find themselves wanting to not be bound by certain limiting mm, guidelines, rules, the way the way reality functions in the third dimension. Some believe that they can overcome all basic laws of physics and gravity. Instead of finding interest and respecting this third dimensional law of gravity. They try to become lighter and float away. I do not feel that's a very good example, but it touches on the essence of the situation. You do have cause and effect you have physical laws. They are understood in different ways. And your scientists explore and see how there are facts and realities and laws underlying the ones they have already discovered. And their curiosity propels them to learn more about 
how third dimensional reality functions. They are the ones who are fully living the human experience. and not those who are so spiritually minded that they reject the science. There is room, in fact there is the existence and there is the need for both a spiritual understanding and a materialistic grounding in the reality and in the fullness holistic there's a word the holistic three dimensional human being contains both a spiritual yearning and a grounding in the hard facts the reality, the day-to-day -day mundane, gritty science of life. Anchor reminds me that a popular mm, concept is of mind, body, spirit that the human being consists of all three, although she likes to add in heart, make it a four square, mind, body, heart, and spirit. But there needs to be equal emphasis on all of those and she is seeing right now in many people a resistance or an imbalance too much emphasis on the spirit and the emotions or heart and not enough on body and mind, particularly mind. You must use your intellect in a healthy way. There is a lack of discernment which arises from letting the intellect, letting the mind, letting the thought go lax. And not working in harmony with the heart, with the feeling. feeling, emotion, heart is often overtaking the mind, demanding that the mind find justification for what the heart feels, instead of there being a balance. Sometimes 
the mind discovers things that are at odds with what the heart desires but must be reconciled in order to be healthy to in order to be whole that is the problem with ascension when the heart wishes escape and the mind says but there's so much here we still need to discover and there are rules that existence on this third dimensional planet must respect and abide by And the more fully we understand that and work within it, the more readily the whole self can expand, can expand into other what some would term higher dimensions. So to my friends and family who wish to grow, who wish to evolve, I would say the only way out is through. Uh, one has to fully embrace the human experience and all that means the human earth being experience, should I say, for there are other human-like beings on other planets. But for those who are conscious in the reality of a third-dimensional Earth, The only way to expand to the fourth I am correcting myself expand your consciousness into fourth fifth or or higher dimensions is to fully, fully live as human. The imagery I am getting from Anchor is you have to learn everything in one grade before you can go to a higher grade. But what you learn, you build upon. You don't discard. you use it as a foundation so in that way your 3D experience is the foundation for 4D and if you don't live 3D fully you'll never be able to reach further
and this is feeling like the end of discussion for today my dear friends and family those who can hear who can resonate oh that's a good word resonate with this perspective to you I send my appreciation and for others who may hear but do not reconcile my words with your truth I also send to you my appreciation there is nothing wrong if your truth is different from ours now I leave wishing peace unto all farewell <laughs>